Hey everyone, and welcome to part 11 of my Blinds playthrough of Fatal Frame 3 The Tormented. In the last episode, we continue to make our way through Kay's dream. Uh, we're still in it. This is like our, this is still his first dream. We've been here for like three episodes, or at least his dream has touched three episodes. I think it was like toward the middle or end of the first one that we actually came in here. And then, um, but we've already, we've been here for, for a little while. Um, his, his mechanics are a little different than the others. You know, I'm gonna think of the, oh! Oh man. Oh wait, is that passive? It looks like, doesn't look passive, that looks horrible. Her eyes are gouged out, which reminds me. Um, two episodes ago, I was having a lot of trouble finding a thumbnail that was interesting. Um, not that I really succeeded in getting one that was interesting. Like sometimes it's just tar hard because nothing, yeah, I'm just gonna run for this and if, if it initiates a fight, then so be it. Oh, 90 film, that's our first one with that. But yeah, I gotta get this out. So we, uh, let's run back and I'll check, maybe I'll check the other place to see if it's there. Um, we, uh, I, all oh, right. So to get a thumbnail, I decided to, uh, oh yeah, this looks right. No. Okay. So to get a good thumbnail, um, I jumped back in and I, I got like, like I let the tattooed woman like chase me and get really close so that I can get a picture, um, for the thumbnail. But, uh, screw it. Let's just, let's just push the issue here. Oh, oh no. Oh man. She almost got me there. Uh. Uh, yeah, sure. How? Like that. Uh, are you gonna, you're kind of behind me, right? Oh, no, there you are. I think. Oh, oh no, she's over there. I was wrong. Uh, let me, let me get like a good position here. But yeah, let me, I'll try and, I'll try and tell you guys this while we go. Uh, oh. Oh, I missed that one. I tried though. I'll see taking pictures of her. No, not on the freaking Merc. There's that one. I think I missed that one. Dude, he is really tough. Like, his second blink, you have to like... See, even that, I, I tried to do it preemptively. Oh no, that time I might have missed her head. Okay, I think I got her that time on accident. Or not accident, but by luck. Like, I, I'm just trying to guess. He's so tough. Like his, I wonder if it's supposed to be like his reflexes are not very good. So like the fatal frame for him is like so minute. Like, I don't know if it's possible, if you if you guys can tell, or maybe it's cause I'm in the action. So to me, it feels like so fast, but to you guys, it's like an eternity and I just suck. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I really want to get this out though. So the, um, the tattooed woman, um, she totally had eyes. Oh, oh, you know what I just realized? I was just, I, I was just suffering a little bit from the, oh, okay. We were just suffering a little bit from, yes, this. I keep knocking them out of his range and then I can't follow up. Like I have to like advance on them, which is great when I'm like, I'm tagging them like three or four times. Maybe that's why also it was tricky to get her, uh, her fatal frame follow-ups because he, she was, he was, she was like out of range until I got close enough. And then there was only a fragment left. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Well, either way. Okay. So 10,000, we're, we're getting close to the, uh, we're getting close to the, well, we're past the halfway point anyway, so. I think next, I might go with range again. If I can tag them three times, I would almost prefer to tag them three times and ha and blast them back than, um. Actually, I don't know if that's true. But yeah, okay, anyway, so this, this the, the tattooed woman that was chasing us, like the, it seems like she is like the the like big bad right now um she totally has eyes oh oh wow uh huh and all we got in here was film and a fight okay what why did we come here again just because we could? I guess that was it. We just we just could. All right, good. Well, we have a run back, so we're gonna we're actually we actually are, have that key, the butterfly key, to go check and to go where Mio was. So let's go do that, and presumably get into fights along the way because we just. Oh, in fact, uh, hold on. Oh no, that's perfect. What did I do there? I was like so in the moment that okay, I used two greens. 
they were they were well placed greens at least though I didn't miss with any of those. Okay. Anyway, off we go. So I'll keep talking unless something happens and then I'll shut up. But um, that the tattooed woman totally has eyes. So there was a woman that actually I think is going to be along the way that we're going. That uh. Uh, can we go this way? I forget if I tried this with him. I want to say I did, but I don't know. Yeah. So the fact that that tattooed woman has eyes is really interesting to me because I assume we saw someone, a, a, the woman on the other side of the, uh, do you look at him? Dude. Man, it looked almost like her face was bloody when I didn't have the flashlight on it. Wow, that was creepy. Um, I thought all along that... I thought all along that the tattooed woman had was eyeless. That her eyes were gouged out. But maybe she's the sleeping woman or whatever. Or the, the tat she's like the original tattooed woman. And she's already in pain and sees the dreams. And everyone else who she tattoos loses their eyes. Oops. But I just thought that was interesting because all this time I totally thought that she was just that, that was she had her eyes gouged out. But in that, uh, what is it? Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, oh, you're just uh, one of you, huh? Sure. How many? Uh oh, that's bad. Damn it. Okay, cool. I got lucky on that. I got distracted by the... Oh. I don't see another one. Maybe I'll go over here just in case. Oh, I missed that one. I was trying to advance and I, I was too high up. Oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. Those eyes. Yeah, that one. Oh, what is that? Ting, ting, ting. That has to mean something. I just don't know. Oh, no, that, that's crap. This is what he keeps getting me. Again. What is that triple one? It's probably like more damage or some nonsense, and I'm just like messing it up. Because I'm trying to. Okay, here we go. This time. Okay. There's another one. Okay. This guy's a lot of life. Oh, it's because I'm using the gray. Makes sense, though. I wanted to, like, just practice. Alright. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Oops. I took it anyway. I was trying to, like, get the timing down. That last one felt pretty good. But probably only because I just happened to nail it. But, um, okay. Again? Oh! No! Oh, no. It's bad. Oh, okay. Why is there another one? Oh! Oh, come on. All right. Oh, Jesus, buddy. Oh, okay, I was. Side shot, bang. Look at him, he's fast. He's running around me. Oh, boy. Bad. Dude, when they do this nonsense, it is like really hard to. Let's go over here. I'm tired of being in this corridor. 
Uh, that's right, we'll switch to gray. There's one. Oh, damn it. Oh, buddy. I need my practice anyway. He only has two. <laughs> I'll just do that anyway. There's one. Okay. He didn't even blast back. That's interesting. How about that one? There's another one. Oh, I don't know if I got that one. Too far, I think. Okay, we're gonna have to switch things up here. Man, he's not getting, uh... Damn it! Listen up. Was that the same one? I'm kind of confused on that. I, that was really confusing for me. 14,000. Uh, we're all, tw it's all 20,000 now, so. Okay, and just in case, now that the crone is not here, can we maybe open this? Like, no one's here to stop us? No, okay. I figured as much, but fun to try. Let's find out where this, uh... oh, you know what? I bet. Ugh. I bet we're going to run into a fight with... We're going to... Man. Sounds like a liquor from uh, Resident Evil 2 in that room. Constantly for me. Uh, shoot, what was I even talking about before? Um, that the tattooed lady is not actually blind. It seems like only her cohorts are, or whatever you want to call them. Let me grab a drink. Okay. Is the shrine uh, the handmaiden gonna jump out at us now? Is this right? No. No, it's not. Oh wait, can we go that way? No. No, we don't want to go that way. We wanna go this way. Sorry about that, guys. So anyway. I'm still fighting. My fighting is still rusty, unfortunately. I'm gonna try. I'm really gonna try and get better, so it's more fun to watch those fights. Like, it's not that I think I'm doing badly per se, but it's more fun when I'm doing better. So I'm gonna still try and do better there. Oh God! You came back. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't give it now. <laughs> is this it? I think this is it, right? I'm so looking forward to these puzzles. I wish there were more puzzles. Uh. We found something in here before. I wonder, it's the same dream, so there's no reason why anything should be in here. Nothing in the closet. All right, now, we saw the hatchet guy. And the crone told him that they need more sacrifices. That's not right. What's that way again? Oh no, this is it. Should we try going the other way? It was, oh, it's, it's locked anyway. We can't do anything. Yeah, man. This might be the end of the dream. Let's just, oh, let's just check this, where we are, where this, where this thing leads. Oh, we've never been here. Oh, awesome. Okay, wait, let me see. Anywhere near it? No, I don't think so. Where's that? Kimono room? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah that's, that's where the, uh, the brushing lady was and her holly hairpin. Oh, by the way, in between episodes, I did go back, uh, Actually, as it turned out, he was even in my recording. I totally, like, accidentally clicked it again. And the holly hairpin doesn't open up her thing. But when we get... If we get a holly key, we have to go back to her, uh... Her little brushing... Stand? I don't know what the hell to call that. Man, that scared me. I was like, shoot, didn't we get it? I could have swore. Mio? You in here, buddy? Man. Pressure.
It's funny because. Oh, I want to go too. Oh God. So we can be together again. Pressure. I think this is blast. Okay, so she, it loops around. We can be again. Oh man, she's M Mio sounds just like Mayu. Like Mayu was always saying that crap. Like we're always supposed to be together, over and over and over and over again. Oh man. Okay, so guys, we we are at the point now where I'm pretty sure. Wait, let me just double check, just to make, in case I'm wrong. Yeah, it's fine, but. Uh, Spear power to repel enemies. Oh, it doesn't like, I'll have to go check it again. Oh, oh, this might help too. If you power up the effective, the effective time. Oh no, not that. The force of your shot. Yeah, dude, I'm pretty sure this is blast. It's called pressure in this one. I'm gonna double check that. Cause if so, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put points into that right now. He could use a damage boost. Like I do not rack up those those points with him. Um, file? Is that it? Text? No, that wouldn't be it. Other? Nope. Photos? Nope. That wouldn't be either. The camera obscura? Is it in like here? Like as a sub thing? No. Ooh. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that's so disappointing. I want to just. I want to know. Yeah, man. No. Let's check out this thing though. Woman with comb. The woman who pinned. Oh, there's her uh, her holly hairpin. So apparently we do still have that. The woman who pinned her combed hair to the wall and went. Oh, is that what she did? So we didn't take that off of the desk. We took it out of one because it said that her clumps of her hair were around. And it took until I was watching it back to notice that they were all over the wall. I totally missed that. I think that my screen is darker than uh, the recordings, oddly enough. Uh, something about my thing makes them actually more like easier to see things. The woman who pins her combed hair to the wall and awaited someone's return. I've been waiting, she said, when I caught her image in the captor ob camera obscura. Did this camera once belong to the man she was waiting for? Man, so she is Coca or whatever her name was. Maybe he left her and the camera here and set out for somewhere. Nope, we found his bloody kimono, I think. Unless that wasn't his bloody kimono. Maybe it was her bloody kimono. Oh wait, that's right. Our kimono is it called a kimono when a guy wears it? I assumed it belonged to to whoever was in possession of the camera, which I assume is Kunihiko Kun, Kunihiko Aso. He was actually the creator of the camera obscura. Oh man, come on! I just want to check this really quick. Like where? Pressure. Oh, ah, ah. I'm pretty sure that that's what it said. Repel, back, and damage. Yes. Level, damage increases. Yep, it totally is. It's blast. Oh my god, we have blast, guys. Oh, game over, ghosts. Uh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I bet. I don't think. I wonder if this actually does it for all of them. Probably not, right? It's totally worth it. Oh my god. Okay, so range is nice. Yeah, now we'll do more damage per. Oh, I, lo I love my, uh, I love blast. Okay. Right, so Mio sounds just like Mayu now. Do we recognize this room? Is this room like, uh, oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no. Uh, should I talk to her or should I try again? Oh, I know where we are. I know where we are. Oh, it's another one of these rooms. She's in the cell. Oh, wait. Oh, do we have to let her out? Oh, oh, don't end the dream. Please don't end the dream. Oh, it's definitely gonna end the dream. Oh, didn't work. No? Dude, why is she all like nihilistic or whatever? Or at least, uh... It's a red cushion underneath there, right? Not like... 
Oh no, it's a doll. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, it's a freaking doll. Is that supposed to be a Mio, a Mayu doll? Mio, stop messing around. Get out of there. Oh no, it does end the thing. Oh, I'm so disappointed in myself. I should have went the other way. Oh no, I, we know that place. That's a Kurosawa Manor. Or a mansion, or whatever the hell it's called. Is that this? Dude, what the hell is that noise? What the hell is this box? Do you guys hear that? It's the radio. Before I forget, do we have any more? No. <gasps> Miku, you hearing this? It's totally coming from, uh, I can hear it. it sounds like a radio noise coming from somewhere. Yeah, man, it's coming from freaking, uh, user room. Wait, should we explore? I want to go in there in the worst way, but. I'm no joke freaked out. Oh. Oh. Do you see that? It was up there. Oh, the chills. It looks like one of those black things. Oh my god. Is um No wait, no, we have we have to check on the shrine just in case. But um what the hell was her name? The one who died in the um in the that, the one that we went to go see in the hospital, and I cannot remember her name for the life of me. Uh What the hell was her name again? People. Yoshino. That's it. Yoshino Takigawa. The black things that were cha that were following after her. Okay, so you have to go up. But did, oh man, if if you guys feel free to rewind and see, there was uh, one of those black things that was following her that I suspect looked to her, to her like her family. Like it, that's it, that that place like seems to get you by luring you in and looking like things that you know, but it, it's not. But it's not really them. And we j and but we kept seeing her as. Oh man. Wait, is it not one of these that's making noise? It's a radio. Machinery. Oh God, guys, here we go. Yeah, of course it wants us to do this because it's going to jump scare the shit out of me. I heard something. Yeah. It seems to be coming from inside the roof. Oh. Oh, how interesting. I wonder if the whole game we could have... Uh, looked up and saw that and I just didn't see it. Peekaboo. Is 
Is it gonna be you? <gasps> a box of stuff? Why would he hide that? You know, get out of our freaking roof, man. You know, creepy and shit. Oh. Don't, don't, don't. Don't look right. Oh, it's horrible. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Was that Yoshino? She looks different when she's smiling. <laughs> now go check the room. We gotta check the room. <sighs> oh. Oh yeah, look at that. Wait. It starts out as a red and then it turns indigo. Interesting. Because they called it red and indigo. I was waiting for that to happen after we read that. A dream? Yeah, sure. Why not? That's what you want to believe in, sure. What is this box for, though? Is this like... I never even know. I can't believe I never noticed that little box there before. Miku, we gotta talk. Oh. I thought for sure she was gonna be like, I have to go investigate the room. Oh, she's not in here. Oh, wait. Is that her? No. Is she gone? Did this thing... Hey, uh... Creepy-ass doll. Did you always have long hair? I took pictures of it. I took pictures of you, bitch. Now, yeah, the jig is up. I'm on to you now. I don't remember you having long hair. Did it have long hair? Am I going crazy? Oh, man, I bet you guys are like, you're such an idiot. Of course you had long hair. Photos. I took so many photos of this damn thing. Now, how do you, uh, next page. Can I go to the next page? Protect? Oh, no. Oh, no, you have to protect them. Otherwise, you only get, like, what is that? Like, three, six, eight, sixteen? No way! I don't want to save that. Are you serious? Okay, well, I guess I'll do this. Luckily, I can just go back and look in my, uh, oh, wait, what if I delete, like, one of these stupid ones? 16. Dude, are you kidding? It only lets you save 16? I don't think that thing had long hair. Dude, why the hell do you have long hair? And what the hell is in that bag? Did you come with that bag? I should have... I wonder if, like, if at a certain point she's going to be like, seriously, Miku, that, where did you get that doll? And she's going to be like, what doll? <laughs> Fucking creepy there, thing. All right, let's get that as goddamn place. I hate this place so much. I hate that doll. I hate this place. When Miku's not here, this is creepy. And even Miku is kind of weird because, like, there's two different. I mean, we, Miku's not weird, but. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. What am I doing? Uh, should I go check? I guess I might as well. Oh. oh I'm. A Ray? You're still awake? You're still awake? What do you mean, still awake? Is that what she said? You're still awake? What a weird thing to say. Alright. I mean, I suppose I can try all this nonsense, right? And we have to, we'll probably have to go downstairs. Does it just close? Oh, it doesn't even let me check out the clothes thing anymore. Okay, it doesn't look like there's... There's a storage room in the ceiling of the closet. I can get up there if I move away the... Uh, oh, no. Get back down. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. We gotta talk to Miku first. That's clearly what we're supposed to do. Man, I keep choosing the wrong thing, and it keeps kicking me out to, like, the next thing. Shoot. Okay, let's go talk to Miku first. 
That has to be what we're supposed to do. In fact, save anyway. I'm tired of. I'm tired of like doing stuff that like is fun, and then it's like, oh, okay, it's nighttime now, and I'm like, no. Nah. Ray, this is it. Okay, so this is where she. Uh, so now that she had, I thought this might have. So she didn't have time to work on the other thing the other night because she was too busy sleeping. But when you when she escapes the dream, she wakes up early and has time to do this. But it is it, it is interesting. We don't need to talk to Miku anymore. We just take pictures, and when we get those um, those th those those particular like special photos, then she automatically has she automatically has them. Like we don't have to keep handing them to her. Here you go, Ray. I thought this might have some connection. Okay. And we probably read all this. Buried mummies. Yeah, we read we read all this all before. In like two episodes ago. Uh, I thought this might have something to do with the tomb. Yep. None of these will be many bones found. That's the grave mound that we read about. Uh, I won't bother since we... And this one is the abandoned house. Plus summer... In, uh, okay. History of the manor. Okay. Um, nothing new anyway. I figured it was possible that it you might be. Ask me whatever you want, okay? I can ask you whatever I want. Okay. It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Dude, you are too. Are you all right? Dude, listen here. I don't I don't appreciate your uh your gaslighting or whatever you want to call that. I don't even know what it would be called in that case. Oh my god, the cat is fucking pissed off at something. What do you see, buddy? This is the fr Oh, Yoshino, you son of a bitch. Get out of my goddamn altar room. What did you see? My hair is on end. What the hell did, you, did it say? What's in here? This is it. The jump scare of my life is right here. You peek around the corner, and that's how it gets you. Oh, what do I have to investigate? Among the is an old film reel. Film unknown? <gasps> that would be weird. Okay, so now that she has it in real life, the cloud is taken up with cardboard boxes full of used books, untouched since we moved in. Oh my god. You. Okay. Cat. Sebastian. Where'd you go, buddy? I forgot that I named the cat. Anything in here? Oh! The cat was hiding in here. What did it freaking see in there? We have to come back at nighttime, I guess. Sebastian, come back, buddy. We're going to walk in here at some point, and there's going to be, like, a head. Like, a dismembered head. Just dripping blood. For no reason. And, yeah, don't forget this. For no goddamn reason, there's goop on the goddamn ceiling. And here we go. Cat. Cat, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. You okay? Wait, isn't it? Yeah. There you are. You had a rough day. You were seeing something. All right. I'll leave you alone, buddy. Okay, we're going up into the roof, guys. Sorry for the hold up. Man. Uh, where else could we look for things? Hey, um, Miku, what's up, buddy? You doing homework or something? Can you tell me about this doll? Ray, you've been working too hard. You should get some rest. Dude, why does this? Is Miku like possessed by them? She keeps wanting us to sleep. Why would she want us to sleep more? What can I do for you? You can tell me to stop. You can stop telling me to sleep. How about that, Miku? I was wondering if you could research. 
Oh boy, I don't even get remember getting it. Thanks. Understood. I don't even remember I'll that let one. You know if I find anything. It's raining again. Damn it, what was that picture? Miku, what the hell's up with this doll that apparently is growing hair or something? Dude, he's definitely short. I know for sure that it was short because I, I said it looked like Edna from the freaking Incredibles. It had her same haircut. Miku, you have some explaining to do, buddy. Why why does this thing growing hair? How do you not it's notice that? Again. It's in your room and everything. Then again, I'm about to go in the crawl space at, or attic or whatever it's called and chase a dead girl. So, I mean. It's amazing how creepy this house became. Even just the way that Ray was running toward the camera and made me nervous a little bit. <laughs> She's running toward me, like the player. And I was like, uh. <laughs> What's in this box? There's something on the floor. Spirit stone radio. <gasps> I love the radio. The radio is so cool. Oh, this is so great. Is this the radio I dreamed about last night? What? Oh. This is what was making the noise. Okay. We haven't got any gems. I guess we're going to start getting gems. There's a book. <gasps> Radio transmissions. Oh, I think it's the same thing. As mentioned previously, occultist Kunihiko Aso has actively appropriated Western crafts with the goal of ex explicating ancient Japanese belief in belief in and legends of the other world. It is said he, was fin uh, he finally was able to establish communication with the other world. The first example of this was the other world crystal radio signal receiver. Man, so he, he created all this stuff, otherwise known as the Spirit Stone Radio. The Spirit Stone Radio Spirit Stone was named as an oh, the Spirit Stone Radio Spirit Stone was a name his colleagues used later on in Dr. Esso's research materials. It is usually simply referred to as the crystal. The principle of the crystal radio is that it utilizes special wave detection property of a crystal to pick up the appropriate band of wavelength. Okay. So focused on that fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties. If you could find a special crystal, he thought perhaps he could capture signals from the other world. It is said his experiment was a success and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside that of normal broadcasting. The documentation of the sounds have been lost, but as so's associates left behind several testimonials saying he heard words of the past and words of ghosts. Okay, so this was just... This is very similar to what we, uh, this was very similar to what it, it what when we found one in two, like the, the, the document that accompanied it. But this time we know the guy's name. Uh, I guess notes and we'll just check these things quick. I'm not anticipating there'll be too many things. Human columns. The mound of graves in the courtyard inside. Huh? The mound of graves in the courtyard inside the manor. Okay. In the ruins of an old castle. But wasn't that the grave mounds? Now it's called human columns. In the ruins of an old castle, the bones of people thought to have worked in construction were found under a mound. Shrine carpenters were buried alive as sacrifices? Question mark. Did the same thing happen here there too? Miko tells me the house I went to is famous for being haunted. They say it's a place where people can meet the dead and that the dead lure people into the other world. The word, words have stayed in my mind. What if you really is in there inside that manor calling me out to me? What will I do? Uh, human shaped stains. Oh, oh, we read this already, didn't we? Because it just was my other save because we, we did a different, like we did another, another option. Like in another choice. Sacred rope was hung along the narrow corridor behind a door when I heard the moaning and the walls were covered in black human shaped stains. There was a similar stain left behind after Yoshino Takigawa went missing. I read in one of the papers about mummified bodies being discovered behind the same the same kind of stain. Uh that's done. And then this one's gonna be a so. Yeah, Konikiwa. Koni. Kunikiko Aso, scholar of the occult who lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research in mystical science attempted to use Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs about other worlds. 
The first of his experiments to bear fruit was the Spirit Stone Radio. This uh, this used radio technology, crystal crystal radio technology, and was able to receive supernatural sounds that normally could not be detected. The products of his research, the camera obscura, the Spirit Stone Radio, and the projector, were much sought after by enthusiasts after his death and were soon scattered all over the country. Okay. And then finally, the old radio. An old radio that was in the loft above Yu's room, according to an old book left in the same place. It's a crystal radio made by a professor, Kunihiko Aso, for communicating with the other world. A reaction with a special crystal makes it possible to hear words spoken in the past and the voices of ghosts. Aso, could there be some connection with Yu's family? Yeah, I think that's what we've been, we've been thinking about since the beginning. Oh, this is the worst! Is that it? Are we just leaving? Or are you going to go up there and see if... Uh, what's your name is in that damn place? Oh, it's the worst. There's another way that way and everything. Doesn't even let me run. Then again, I suppose it's pretty dangerous to run in an attic like this. Fall through the damn floor. That dream I had yesterday. Oh, dude. That's that fantastic ambiance from 2. It's so fucking creepy. Something is out there. We're going to go down first, where the cat was. steps dude are you for real cats in here. Dude, that's getting bigger. That's getting so much bigger. I'm not crazy, right? Just because I'm freaked out? That's totally bigger. Did I take a picture of it before? That looks like an eye almost. Wait. I almost took a picture of it before, did I? No, I didn't. I just looked at it. Dude, I mean, for real? With this doll? That is so much bigger. The cat was in here, so this is probably fine. Shouldn't you be going berserk right now? So many noises. Um, I'm gonna check this place just in case, but we're gonna, I guess we're gonna go up to to user room. Yeah, it's quiet in here. bathroom huh how do you know you don't know that
Dude, there's so many noises. There's never this many noises. I should keep my eye up there. I also should probably try searching everywhere. Even here. It's raining again. Okay. So I didn't think it was gonna be anything different, but so many creaks and noises I might it lets us go back up. Oh shit. I don't get it. This place is making so much noise. We just go to sleep? That's it? Okay. All right, so that's gonna do it, guys. Um. We're gonna go to sleep in this horrible, horrible place that's making all these horrible noises. You guys don't have to hear those footsteps. What is that? Okay, anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. And please like and subscribe if you like the video. I wanna see you guys next time where I guess we're gonna to go to, uh, oh, I suppose I should, I'll just stay right here. Um, where I guess we're gonna go to sleep, but man, I might um, record and then like and do one more sweep of this place and just look everywhere just in case, because I don't really understand. Like I was, this this noise is not normal for this place. This is like what it used to sound like when we would go around with um. We when we were going around All God's Village. And possibly in one too. They reused a lot of the sound effects, cause, and which they should, because they were so good. But um, but thank you guys again, and I will see you next time. Take care. Hey guys, um, I just ended and figured I would just start looking around. Miku is down there, so we're gonna. Wasn't Miku just in there? Does she feel something too? Miku, what's up? Seems like she's having another bad dream. Right now? Uh. Dude, this is so weird. What is this? Why would she be there? The cat. Go sleep with Miko on the couch. to make of this and she's just asleep on the couch wait
Okay, and that seems to be it. I'm gonna check her room. Is there a reason why she's not sleeping in her room? Yeah, that freaking doll, that's why. Who the hell would ever sleep in this goddamn room with that doll around? Oh man, okay. So, for any of you who actually, after I did my sign off, actually wanted to stick around, then you got to see this. But it's really just more of the same, more strange. But nothing really particularly different. I guess that's it. I guess we're just gonna go to sleep. I'm assuming if she's having a bad dream, then I'm assuming that Ray is gonna be another uh, an, a witness again this time, and that we're gonna be seeing it's gonna be Miku's dream that we're gonna be having next. But yeah, we like I said before, we we will find out next time. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you then. Take care.